Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Uh, the elders, the elders of Great Millstone. And I say Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone and double honors to them for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. Uh, scab through the four corners of the globe, preach the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And I say shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. This is from the marketwatch.com, published by Joy Walter, Walter, Walter Ma, if I pronounce the name right. And this is published uh, May the 11th, 2023 at 4.05 p.m. Eastern Time. And it reads from the marketwatch.com. It says the uh, Dow Jones posts a four-day decline as regional bank walls resurface. And it says the U.S. stocks ended mostly lower on Thursday. I believe it was to negative 221, negative 221 points of the Dow Jones uh, decrease. So this is like the Dow Jones on a four-day losing streak because I did a sit-down lesson yesterday. You know, in regard to the markets, as of yesterday, it was on a three three day losing streak. Because the only thing was increased as of yesterday was the Nasdaq Composite, I believe. Now you have a day later. Now I'm doing a lesson on the uh, stocks and markets. So you know, and keep this in mind too. I've been mentioning this previous times. You know, because the markets react. What's going on uh, financially and globally, data statistic wise, or what the uh, you know, with the rate, the recent bank walls from uh, Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic Bank, and these different types of banks as of lately as well, too. So, or uh, you hear what the, the Federal Reserve, if they're going to continue to uh, focus on the economy or focus on, on uh, you know, uh, what the inflation, even though the inflation cooled down a little bit, because a new report came out of that, right along with the uh, April consumer, consumer spending out as well, too. So, you know, I just want to add a note to that. That's how the markets react. So now the bank woes been resurfacing as of lately. So that kind of took a toll on the uh, the markets, especially the uh, Dow Jones. Right? So that was just a prime example. I wanted to add a note to that. We'll continue on with the reading of this news article. It says the U.S. stocks ended mostly lower on Thursday with the Dow Jones booking a four-day in a row of losses. Selling pressure returns to the shares of regional bank. It says the Dow Jones Industrial, which is a DGIA, shares about 221 points or 0. Points, uh, 0. Point, uh, 0.7% ending nearly 3,310 according to the preliminary, preliminary uh, fact check data. And it says the S&P 500 index SPX fell about 0.2% while the NASDAQ composite index composite closed 0.2%. Disappointing earnings from Disney Company. This ties to its, its uh, screaming business helping drag down the blue chip the Dow while the shares of the pack <laughs> I sure don't know and it says uh, the business helped drag down the blue chip the blue chip the Dow while the shares of Pack West Bank Corp Pack West fell more than 20% and it says after it disclosed a nine point 9.5% decline of uh, deposits of uh, recent weeks. It says a short-term rate remains a volatile on Thursday as investors hope for progress on the debt ceiling statement in Washington. It says the D.C. the two-year treasury, the T M U B M U S D O two y was pegged at 3.906% up for, for the past five trading days is according to the Dow Jones Market 
the six month treasury bill was a 5.11 percent so yeah as we see as of recently so the markets of the dow jones was down a fourth for the fourth straight day as uh once again of the increasing resurface of a regional bank woes so that shows you of the decline of the virgin daughter of babylon definitely on the economic sense you can read that in jeremiah uh, through jeremiah 51 and 7 through jeremiah 51 and 9 in jeremiah i mean in revelations 18 and 2 shows you prime examples of the virgin daughter of babylon is, is on a decline economically you know even though you have this uh what you call it uh the inflation went down a little bit the increasing consumer spending and the unemployment rate went down and all that but you still got the cost of living is still high you still got both sides of the political or the political spectrum of the left versus the right over a debt ceiling and you still dealing with the uh, what you call that the uh the banking situation with the first republic bank and the uh pac west bank and all uh, these other central banks been collapsing in the markets as of lately of the banks been collapsing been affecting the markets as well too while you're still dealing with that you know so that shows you uh, uh increasing sign of all and all and plus you dealing with the increasing downfall of the american dollar as well too right along with these regional bank walls continues to resurface as well too and right along on top of the uh increasing mal recession because these bank walls was so far it's the worst banking wall worries since the 2008 of the recession in regards to this you know but you know i just want to add a note to that but you know this is the latest news from the uh, market watch a day later as the uh, dow jones uh, fell once again of a four fourth straight day decline it says the dow jones posts a four day decline as regional bank woes resurface and continues once again so with that hopefully this uh sit down lesson was edifying on this uh may 11 of the publish of this news article may 11 2023 at 4 5 p.m eastern time so so as of uh, marketwatch.com so with that hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying and first and foremost i would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to yahweh bashem yahweh shah bashem uh double honors to the elders of great millstone for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely and shalom on to the akim scattered through the four coins of the gold preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too and until next time i will say shalom